The Pure Base 500 DX by Be Quiet is optimized for high cooling performance and is designed for those who seek low noise and high airflow all in one budget friendly chassis. The high airflow mesh intake allows the three included Pure Wings 2 140mm fans to silently cool your PC components while the ARGB light strips at the front and interior of the case give your build that look you've been looking for. More information on the Pure Base 500 DX in the description and thanks to be quiet for sponsoring this video. What's going on, people? It's Timmy Timmy Joe making videos about computer parts all up on the internet. Today in the program, a little CRT and brand new gaming monitor fun because why not? I've, <laughs> I don't know. When I was a kid, Man, I was a very nerdy kid, and I took notice of technology whenever I could, because it's not like, you know, I had, I had computers and stuff, but I, my parents were not into it, so never had the cutting edge. But I remember going uh, to uh, a town like four hours north to visit an uncle. He worked at a television station, and I remember going into their, like, editing zone, their computer rig lab. There's a lot of apples, which I was not familiar with, but one thing I was not familiar with was with all of the monitors with the pretty parrots on top of them. And I took notice that all these monitors were like, they just looked good, they looked professional, they looked cool. And then fast forward a few years later, I get a little bit more into, uh, you know, Quake, Counter-Strike starts launching, you know, from like 1995 to 1998, 90, you know, 9, 2000. And a friend of mine, like, gets a baller rig. He's got a little bit older than me, he's got lots of money, builds himself a brand new computer, and I remember he bought a ViewSonic monitor and he was like raving about how he was going to destroy it Counter-Strike because that monitor was one of the best monitors for doing so. So back then there wasn't really gaming monitors, right? There's no blacked out, you know, monitors with, you know, no bezels and, you know, whatever. They were all CRTs and they were all meant for the professional space if they were, you know, uh, kind of expensive. And you went to ViewSonic for the highest end gaming spec monitors. So when ViewSonic reached out to me now here in 2020, <laughs> Yeah, it's been 20 years since this monitor launched. I was very excited to have a look at a brand new gaming monitor because I thought, hey, I got a good idea for a video. Let's compare my ultimate gaming monitor from the year 2000, the Professional Series PF795. Yes, there probably were a few better ones, but this one's high up there. A viewer donated to me. Thank you very, very much, sir. And we'll compare it with 20 years later, ViewSonic's, you know, upper mid-tier Elite Series gaming monitor. This is 1440p, 165 hertz, one millisecond response time, slight curve on it. It's got HDR uh, 400, it's got FreeSync Premium Pro, it's got some decent speakers built into it. And I want to compare the gaming experience using a 20-year-old monitor on ultra-modern hardware, which is totally possible. I've done a video before on it. But then we'll compare the experience to an ultra futuristic, compared to this thing, monitor and uh, see because would you believe they have fairly similar specs? This PF795 does 1920 by 1440. That's essentially 1440p for four by three aspect ratio. So we were up at that resolution back then. Not that it's really usable, but it will work if you set it to it. The best part about it though, at, at 1280 by 1024, I can get this monitor display at 100 hertz. So yeah, the specs are obviously much better on this newer monitor, but way back in 2000, this thing was doing resolutions and refresh rates miles beyond what LCDs were doing for a long time, you know, in the, in the mid range. So pretty cool stuff. So strap on your seatbelts. We're gonna sit down and we're gonna play video games on both of these monitors. Do that instead of just some boring review on this where I showed some specs at you. So before we get to gaming, I thought I'd load up uh, testufo.com and this is a League of Legends test here and both monitors are running at uh, 100 FPS, 100 Hertz according to like the, the web browser, you know, do the test that's being done, it grabs it from the main monitor, that's why. But uh, we see 100 FPS, 100 Hertz and that bottom half looks nice and crispy and when we go over to the CRT, 
very similar viewing experience, although, you know, this is washed out, you know, they just don't maintain their good color and stuff over time, uh, but they definitely look very similar as far as uh, the high refresh rate gaming experience on the bottom there. So, but, you know, side by side comparison here, but show the CRT 20 years ago was doing stuff that this monitor can do, which is pretty cool. You know, this definitely has higher specs but it's, it's close. So let's go ahead and we'll get to some gaming. Woo! All right, we're loading into Fortnite, my favorite game of the quarantine, mostly because it's very kid friendly, you know, aside from, you know, COD or something like that, or CSGO where you're blowing the brains out of your opponents. This is pretty lighthearted. So, you know, I can tell you some bad things immediately. Viewing angles on this, you know, are, are bad because of the very glare ridden monitors, you know, the screen, all glass screen here. And of course, 20 years does not bode well for a CRT as far as color accuracy, contrast ratio, the brightness on the screen and stuff like that goes. But uh, check out just like if as I spin around here, there is no screen tearing. Now it helps I've got a 2080 Ti here, but you could do this with very low end graphics card considering we're only playing at a resolution of uh, 1280 by 10 something there. So we're gonna jump in to the game and I'm going to just you know spin the battle bus here. Look at how buttery smooth this is. And I can tell when I spin this, that my mouse inputs are immediate on the screen. There is no input lag. There is no latency whatsoever. It is exactly what happens on the screen is immediately what's happening. It's very, very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop in here and we'll try and get some kills and uh, maybe play a few other games and see you know, what the difference is between these two monitors. Is the gaming experience as good? Well, I mean, we're playing on an 18 inch viewable screen, so probably not compared to the 27 inch viewable on the other one and you know, colors and accuracy and whatnot. But seriously, can you, you know, I got my camera set up for uh, 60 frames a second so you can get a look at the smoothness on this. You really cannot complain. It looks and feels great considering this is a 20 year old monitor, 20 year old piece of tech. It's crazy. experience on this monitor is very very good I think if I turned all the lights off here and it was uh, you know facing because you can see I've got it on an angle here uh, you know I can probably game almost as good as the gaming monitor but we'll switch over to it and we'll see what the difference really is you know quality wise and stuff like that there's gonna it's gonna be a doozy I believe okay we got the XG 270 QC loaded up here Let's see what this looks like. So, right away, oh my goodness, it's a beautiful, vibrant, probably one of the best colors and just like contrast ratio, the, like just the way things look on this monitor, it's incredible. Compared, you know, color-wise and brightness-wise to the other monitor, I mean, it's just 10 million light years uh, away. But as far as, the you know quality of the uh, gaming experience very similar actually very 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 similar as far as input latency as far as uh, you know spinning you don't see any jaggies anything wrong on the screen and uh, let's see here we'll uh, launch down and we'll see I only got one kill in like several tries on the other monitor mostly to do with how it was on an angle it was hard to see with all my lights set up on it it would have been a little bit better had I turned the lights off and really given it a go but I've got the same lights on right now. One's pointed right at my face right there. And I can see this monitor absolutely fine as I'm sure you can uh, on the camera there. And uh, you know, my camera's set to 60 frames a second. So we should see a pretty good, you know, as best as YouTube can kind of convey how good this monitor is. But uh, I really like just the contrast of really bright to really dark areas. And you can still, you know, it's, it's really good. It's really, really good, so. Didn't really land where I wanted to there, but that's fine.
<laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to be too fast here. So, so I failed at Fortnite, whatever. But this is an amazing gaming monitor. It really, really is. And the contrast between the old ViewSonic, the 20 year old ViewSonic and this one, I mean, you can't really compare them as far as image quality. I mean, weight, the, the CRT must weigh like 10 times more than this monitor, uh, you know, ease of use, you know, all that stuff. But uh, as far as the actual gaming experience, uh, like the fluidity, the input latency, the high refresh rate, both were very, very, very similar, but that's kind of where things end. Cause that thing looked like crap. It had 20 years worth of wear and you know use on it. That typically really flattens out the color palette and stuff like that on a CRT monitor. So when I was playing with all these lights on around, it was very hard to see. With the lights off in you know a little bit better situation, I think I could have done better with this CRT monitor, but immediately when you sit down and use this thing, what you see is that the colors on it are amazing, vibrant, great, very little screen door effect. 27 inches is a perfect size, 165 hertz, giving that extra little bit of uh, you know uh, room if you have a graphics card to power it. Even the 2080 Ti kind of has a hard time at 1440p with that, but uh, this thing is just the best gaming experience I've had on a monitor yet. And uh, I gotta thank ViewSonic for sending it over. It ticks all the boxes. And honestly, what pops out to me with this is the, the, the image quality, the color saturation, all that stuff looks very, very good on this MVA panel compared to any other uh, higher refresh rate monitor. I have one at home, 165 hertz, MBEST monitor. It's a Chinese brand monitor. I, I reviewed it very favorably at the time. It was really well priced as well. This thing's like kind of $200, $150 more than that one was. But the difference in quality and the colors, you know, the slight curve on the screen, all that stuff really pops out when I come here and play here with this. It just, it looks so much better color wise and stuff like that, even if the uh, 165 Hertz and input latency is very similar between the two monitors and very similar between this and the CRT, the colors, the, you know, awesome experience you have with this monitor is there. And heck, it even has really good speakers. Check this out if I go down to mute and put it off here. I, I never want to use the speakers that are in monitors. They're always terrible. You could certainly, if you have a good set of gaming cans, you know, use this to just watch YouTubes and videos and stuff like that. The quality of the speakers, totally usable on this monitor as well, which is uh, pretty cool stuff. So I'm at Watch Tim and Joe, Instagram and Twitter, and uh, I want to thank ViewSonic on, there we go, for sending this monitor over for review. 20 years between your, you know, CRTs in this, you're still making amazing quality displays, amazing gaming displays, and I gotta give you a thumbs up for that, so thanks to them. Thanks to Be Quiet for sponsoring this video, and I hope you enjoyed me lug a giant 75 pound CRT onto my desk and play a little, you know, sync my camera after it and play a little bit to emphasize, yes, we had high refresh rate 20 years ago, but we did not have image quality, we did not have high resolution, premium pro free sync support, stuff like that. And uh, I think they've come a long way from a very good beginning 20 years ago with their CRT display. It was fun playing this video. So have a good day. See you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.